Hogwarts Legacy is only two weeks away from release, guys. Can you believe that? Two weeks <clears throat> after all that waiting, finally it's coming. That is, if you did pre-order the uh, Deluxe or the Collector's Edition, that gives you that juicy three-day early access that I'm so excited for. And if you're as big of a Harry Potter fan as I am, and you're a fan of open world RPG games, I know that you must be itching to get your hands on this magical title that has so much hype and so much potential behind it. And if you want to start your Hogwarts Legacy journey a little bit earlier, there are things that you can do right now that will give you a little bit of a head start so that you can hit the ground running right when the game comes out in two weeks. What I'm talking about is this feature that allows you to be sorted into your house, choose your wand and your Patronus before the game comes out, and then eventually when the game does come out, you link your accounts and all this information basically gets linked and updated into in, in the real game. I'm going to walk you through exactly where you need to go and what you need to do to be able to get this process started and get sorted into your own house, get your wand and your Patronus ready. So then when the game comes out, you can link it together and you're basically all set. As always, guys, all the relevant links are going to be in the description below. So you can head over there, click on it, and it will take you exactly to where you need to go. The whole process starts at wizardingworld.com, where you basically have to create your login. That's very simple. I already created mine. And then um, you can see that you actually get some benefits by doing this process. Um, you get this uh, beaked skull mask to wear within the game. And you also get this special house fan attic school robe. So it's um, it's not just the fact that, you know, you can do a little um, Hogwarts Legacy thing before the game even comes out. But you actually do get some benefits which you'll be able to use in the game. So when you log in in here and create your account, it will take you to this little website right here that basically allows you <clears throat> to start your um, to start your little journey. You see that currently I have um, no house, no Patronus, and no want selected on, on the left side. So what we're going to do now is to go through that process of being sorted into the house and getting our Patronus and wand. Just so you guys know exactly, um, exactly how that works. Unknown. Get sorted. There you go. So um, let's start. I'm, I'm super excited. I, I always like to be in Gryffindor, but honestly, I'm just going to be honest with my answers without thinking if these particular answers are going to place me in a particular house. Um, it shouldn't be that obvious. I don't know. I haven't done this before, so I don't know how obvious the answers are going to be. I think there are probably going to be some answers that are going to be like, oh, this is very clear. You know, like you choose a Hedwig. I mean, obviously that might um, that might lead towards Gryffindor because that's the context but I'm just gonna try to see you know the answers that I normally would give and then whichever house I'm sorted in then that's the house that I'm gonna be in just one more thing guys this is not a permanent thing even when you do link your accounts and you are already sorted to a house it is something that you can change in the game itself so it is not something that you're like oh I'm stuck with this particular house and all that no it's just something that you guys can use when you start the game. It is not a requirement, okay? So uh, let's start with this. Dawn or Dusk? Um, I prefer Dusk. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a night, night owl. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a night animal, so I prefer that. Uh, a troll has gone berserk in the Headmaster Stir... Uh, at the end, it is about to smash, crush, and tear several oil place of items. Which, in which order would you rescue these objects? Oh, this is interesting. From the Trolls Club, if you could. Uh, wait, do I have a choice between multiple? Okay, a nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Um, I don't care student records going back a thousand years Ooh, i think that might be pretty fucking interesting uh really important oh yes a mysterious handbook yes i'm definitely saving that one as first so just to wait the student records yeah finally a nearly perfect cure for the rap uh first a mysterious hey, yeah okay i think this is good confirm the order interesting these are these are interesting questions um, <clears throat> it is definitely not very obvious if either of these answers would, um, would allude to one of the houses. 
You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he before he'll let you pass. Okay. Do you what? Volunteer to fight. Attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting. Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. Oh, that's I think that almost sounds like a Slytherin thing. It's like, hey, we're just gonna we're just gonna come at you. Suggest drawing lot uh drawing lots to decide which um which of you will fight. A troll? It's a river troll. I don't even remember a river troll from <clears throat> from the books or anything, so I don't really know how strong they are. Um, if they're as strong as mountain trolls or whatever, but I mean, I would probably volunteer to fight. Uh, no, Ew, I'm kind of scared. Hold up. Attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass. Confuse. Do you confuse him? Suggest that all three of you um, should fight without telling the troll. Um... I'm too much of a I'm too much of a uh, of of a pansy to actually <laughs> volunteer to fight. I think so. I'm probably gonna try to confuse the troll into letting all of us go without fighting. There you go. I'm I'm choosing the less violent option in in this case. Um, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Owl, hundred percent. It's not just the pet. It's just the the. The convenience of of being able to send mail um because it's like if you don't then how do you send mail i i always wondered that like if you have a different like somebody can send you mail but how do you send it back you i guess i would always have to use the the school hours but no i would like to have my own definitely if you attend it hogwarts which pet would you choose to take with you also which type of owl, owl it looks like Snowy, I think the snowy is Hedwig, right? Um, I I think I actually like the Screech Owl. I just hope that it's not one of those tiny ones, like the ones like um, Ron has uh, from um, from Sirius later on. Power Owl is it's like they're too basic. I'm gonna go with Screech Owl. It's different. I, I, I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna choose a snowy owl, but I'm like a screech owl is kind of like a, a, a cool, um, a cool spin on the um, the owl. What are most uh, looking for, uh, forward to learning in Hogwarts? Um, all about magical creatures and how to befriend them. Nope, don't care. Flying on a broomstick. It might be interesting. Apparition and disappearance. Being able to materialize. Oh, this dude, like this one right here is. Ah, uh, this is this is a good question. I already have two things that I would really, really be looking forward to. Secrets about the castle, like I'm looking forward to that, but not as much as apparition. Oof, being able to just save you save so much time by just being able to disappear on one spot and appear on another. It's like a teleportation, but just with the wand in your pocket. Transfiguration, uh, that, I, that never really interested me that much, even though I, I can definitely see a lot of uses of that. Hexes and Jinxes, yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this one is like every area of magic I can. That's like, ah, uh, I guess every area. I might, might as well. It's like, so that kind of covers everything. That's, that's kind of like a... An easy escape from that question, to be honest. I don't have to be very specific. Once every century, the flub, fl fl flutterbee, which produces flowers that adopt their scent to attract the unwary, Mary. If you lure, if it lured you, would you smell of the sea, home, cracking log of fire, fresh parchment? Ooh, cracking log of fire. How would you like to be known to the history? The great, the wise, the bold, the good. Um, the bold. Heads or tails? <laughs> I always liked... Ah, oh, shit. Heads or tails? Let's do tails. It's darker. I like it because it's kind of darker. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Bernie has ready to make this shit <laughs> I know it's not gonna be Gryffindor. I already know it, but you know, let's let's go for it. 
Ravenclaw, bro. What? It's trying to put me in a Ravenclaw. 21,000 other people are in Ravenclaw. All right, man. I'm, I'm surprised. Welcome to Ravenclaw. You probably know that some Ravenclaw most uh, renowned uh, members are fucking Lockhart and Luna. Those are like not the best representations of the of the house. But did you know that uh, Grey Lady is the least talkative Hogwarts ghost? Um, I'm not surprised. I mean, she was literally murdered by the Red uh, by the Bloody Baron. Um, so I yeah, she barely even talked to um, Harry when he needed to ask her about the um the tiara so it's not surprising that she doesn't talk um or that ravenclaw's common room hosts the most stunning views of all castle grounds i do remember that they have yeah i hope that they do show that in the hogwarts legacy as well um they are supposed to have like an like amazing views because they're somewhere high like they're somewhere pretty high so they're supposed to have big views okay so we're sorted into our house um i um I'm, I'm not mad it's like okay i'm not gryffindor uh, whatever but i i guess i guess whatever answers i gave just gave me this 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 answer so you know i'm not i'm not mad it's different but you know i like it all right now that we have been sorted into a house let's go with the next one uh patronus might as well that's the second one on the menu here so we might as well Let's see if we're gonna have some music going on in here. Oh, we do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. This is kind of a positive, positive force projection. The very things that the Dementor feeds upon. See, the thing is, it's like Patronus is not just against Dementors. I kind of feel like that's that's how they're almost putting it, as it's like um, that's the only thing that you know. It's like anti-Dementor thing. You can use. Patronus is for so many other things. Oh, this is cool. The mouse is like having a little um a little thing flying behind it. Okay, begin. Let's go. So I think this is from Pottermore. Relax, think of your happiest. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Sun, wind, rain. Rain. Always rain. <laughs> Love rain, bro. I'm trying to answer real quick. Just like, first thing that comes to mind. Cold. Literally just got out, just got, got out of a uh, 50 degree cold plunge where I was for 10 minutes. I'm freezing. Cold. Lead, escape, save. Uh, escape. I don't, I don't know why I chose escape here. It's... Such a weird combination. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Catch it! Something is trying to emerge from your wand. <laughs> a little mist. Spectro Patronum. Lost or found? I like to be lost. One more question. You're nearly there. Come on, let's go. Almost there, guys. Listen, watch, touch. Uh, watch. Shit, I probably should have went with listen. Uh, it's fine. I guess watch was first thing that my brain was like, yeah, watch. Makes sense. Click here and drag the release. Ooh. A fucking cat? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, Russian, Russian blue cat. Seriously, I don't know why cat just gives me man. I ever since uh, Umbridge, it's just all the cats and everything. And I think her her patrona was was a cat too. I'm like, no, I don't fucking want a cat. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, shit, it is what it is. I don't know how they chose this for my answers, but... But why Russian and why blue? It's like, that's so weird. Oh, I returned to my profile. I'm not happy with this one, but uh, shit, I hope... I... 
Russian blue. The Patronus turned. It was cantering back towards Harry across the... Okay, but that's... So, do you have, like, a, a reason why my shit was chosen? Like, I would like to know, like, why my answers kind of resulted in... Anyways, let's move on to the wand, guys. Last but not least, find your wand at Olivandes. <clears throat> oh, first of all, describe yourself as... I'm 5'9". I think that's average height. Now, obviously, it's very different, for, I guess, for America and from Europe. Uh, in Europe, I think I would be considered probably tall. In America, I'm definitely considered average. Um, your eyes are kind of blue-gray. Yeah, see, that's interesting because they have blue and blue-gray. Mine is kind of like between blue and blue-gray. They used to be blue, very clear blue. Now it's kind of more blue-gray. Was the day on which you were born? Um, shit, I don't even know what odd and even is i think even is like two four six eight and then odd is one three seven if that's the case then it was an even number born on the eight you most pride yourself on ooh, my imagination um termination oof okay 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 i think imagination probably uh optimism i'm very optimistic but you know now with two kids man it's been kind of getting suppressed a little bit originality uh i don't have to be that original intelligence like i'm intelligent but i don't think that's what i pride myself on resilience oof that's a good one um kindness <laughs> i'm not much of a kind person i mean i i am but not like something oh i pride myself on my kindness no so I think for me, it's it's one of the first three. Determination. I'm a very determined person. Imagination. Yeah. And resilience. Shit. I probably will go with resilience, bro. Like, seriously? I think that's the one I want to go with. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroad. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, or head towards the forest? towards the sea do you most fear um fire darkness isolation heights small spaces i like darkness i like fire i do not fear isol i fucking love isolation because <laughs> um i don't mind my small spaces so i think it's probably like i'm almost like what do I fear? What what do I not fear the the least? You know what I mean? It's kind of like I'm I'm turning it a little bit around. I don't really fear heights that much, but I fear everything else less. Though I guess heights. In the chest of magic artifacts, which would you choose? Oh, just one. Ooh. Silver dagger, ornate mirror, glittering jewel. Bounce bro. Leg glove, rusty bottle, golden key. See, I think a lot of people would here choose the golden key, but that literally could be to an empty little box somewhere that has nothing in it. Just like the bounce scroll could be empty. Glittering jewel, however, you could you you might be able to sell um and then get you know be able to buy some stuff for it. Um over dagger It'd be useful i mean look at bellatrix the strange and her dagger that killed dobby it was useful to her obviously but yeah. glittering jewel let's go oh is that it that was the last one oh so what do we have maplewood unicorn core 11 and three quarters of inches and rigid flexibility okay so let's see i have often found that those ch uh, chosen by maple wands are by nature travelers and explorers. That's That sounds about right for me. They are not stay-at-home wands. <laughs> okay. Like me as a gamer, I'm quite stay-at-home, but okay. I'll take it. If I was a, a wizard, I probably would not be staying at home. I would like to explore. So that sounds about right. For ambition in their... Um, um, in their witch and wizard. Otherwise, their magic grows heavy 
and lackluster. Hmm, interesting. Fresh challenges and regular cha changes of scene cause this wand to literally shine, burnishing its hope as it grows with its partner in ability and status. Status is important for a lot of men, so that sounds about right as well. This is a beautiful and desirable wood, and one quality maple has been among the most costly for centuries. Ooh. See then, and that's and that's why I would choose a um, a glittering jewel, so I could sell it, and then uh, use that money to buy uh, the most expensive um, uh, uh, a wand uh, with maple wood. Possession of a maple wood has long been marked of a mark of a stature, Ooh, status, because of its reputation as the wand high achievers. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> It doesn't really tell me any other wizards that have maple wand, so I guess I'll, I'll look that up. But there you go, guys. Ravenclaw, Russian blue cat Patronus, and maple wand with unicorn core. So if you manage to get all the way to this point in the video and you follow the steps with me, let me know in the description below what house Patronus and wand did you get and um, if you actually agree with kind of what you got assigned. Like, like for example for me i like i don't really get the whole russian blue cat it doesn't really fit what i thought i would get so maybe my answers were just kind of off or whatever but other than that i'm i'm really happy with ravenclaw and with the uh, maple wand i think that kind of feels right for me so um anyways there you go guys i'm basically ready for my hogwarts legacy journey i'm so so excited for the game to come out i'm like literally counting down the days i'm hoping you're gonna be able to join me in the next two weeks i am taking probably the rest of the week off from the 7th until like the the 10th or 11th or whatever and i'm just gonna be streaming back to back kids are gonna be in school and i'm just gonna be playing the game man i'm 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 gonna be like a little kid um just just living his fantasy so yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more gaming content and to be notified of my upcoming streams. And um, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.